Hi, I'm Natalie Rogers with Tat Your Own Adventure. Today we're going to go over how to do a two color ring. Um, if you're wondering what a two color ring is, I'll answer that for you. You can see here in my little ballerina pattern that I have the skin tone traveling up the ring and then I switch to a hair tone and then I switch back to the skin tone. Same thing over here, skin tone to hair color, back to skin tone. That is a two color ring. This is not a split ring, it is done differently, um, but it does have some similarities to split rings. So I'm going to walk you through how to make a two color um, ring today. Okay, so I have my two colors. I have purple and I have um, the turquoise. And I'm going to, which I often call blue, so if I call it blue, that's the one I mean. Um, I'm going to walk you through this. Starting with, um, the purple is actually going to be the, the hair color or the second color. Hang on, I've got a kitty making an appearance. Hello, this is my darling Kuno. She is super cute, but she cannot lay on top of mommy's craft. So I'm going to relocate her. Here we go. That was the kitty appearance this video. Most videos get a kitty appearance that are at least the longer ones. She was pretty well behaved while I did a lot of the technique filming today. So I think this is the only technique video she's making an appearance in. So you got a rare Kuno sighting. Okay, so I'm going to wrap the purple around my hand. Then I'm going to wrap it so it's wrapped normally like for a ring, but then I'm going to also wrap it like it's for a chain and it's just going to hang out on my pinky. This is because I'm going to do the ring. Oh, she's back. Hello. Sorry, babe. You got to move. Okay. And what I'm going to do is some unflip stitches. This is where it's similar to a split ring um, with my turquoise color. So I'm going to do the second half first. One. Second half first. Two. Bless you, Kuno. Three. There's three stitches so far. I'm going to do five. Um, second half first. First half second. I think I got tangled. There we go. There's four. One more. Second half first. And then first half. Okay, so I've got my ring started with five stitches that were unflipped that are around the purple. I'm now going to take the chain part whole of the hold off. You can see that it still slides because those were unflipped stitches. And now we're going to work with the purple, which means we want the blue. to travel with the purple because we want it to be part of the core thread. I'm going to pass it behind that thread so it will come in easier and not tend to flip what we're doing. Okay, I want them to be the same length. I like when I have two shuttles and I'm doing a, I'm making them both the core thread, I like to send the shuttles through together. So we're going to go under through our loop. They are the core thread. I'm now doing a stitch with the purple. That was the first half. Here's the second half. There we go. So I went from the unflipped blues to the flipped purples. I'm going to do five of these. One, two, If you have ticky tack, you can actually ticky tack your shuttles together so that they um, stay together a little bit better. Um, that works rather nicely. 
I do not happen to have any ticky tack handy. So I will not be using that technique today. One, two, three, four. Last number five. Last half. Okay, so I've got five of the first color the, the, that was unflipped on the... the mm, I'm tripping over my tongue. I have five of the unflipped turquoise and then five of the flipped purple. And then we are going to resume the hold that has the purple as both the ring. I'm going to make my ring a little bit larger so this makes it easier on me. The ring and the chain. Okay, strapping it there. I come up from the back side here and do the the second half first, which is this. Set it down and then the first half second. There we go. There's one. Two. the wrong stitch. Second half first. And five. Okay, so you can see I have the five unflipped, the five flipped purple, the five unflipped turquoise. And then I can take the purple off my hand and I'm going to close up my ring. And that is how you do a two-tone ring.